She's a grandmother on the run, accused of killing her husband, stealing thousands of dollars from his personal bank account, and then taking off to Florida, where investigators believe she also murdered a woman who looks like her to steal that woman's identity. Fox Lines Iris Perez is here with the latest on a story with lots of twists and turns, a story, Iris, you first brought us back in March. Well, Randy, and as U.S. Marshals continue their search for 56-year-old Lois Reese, they expect her resources to dwindle. But they have reason to believe she remains strapped with the gun she used to kill her husband here in Minnesota, the same gun she used to kill a woman in Florida a week ago today. Reese's mode of operation is to befriend women who resemble her and steal their identity. Even in her very own photos, Lois Reese is a woman of many faces. From her Minnesota driver's license to her time as a brunette and her most recent look as a beach blonde, it's hard to tell this is the same person. Reese is wanted for murder, grand theft of a motor vehicle, and grand theft and criminal use of personal identification. The 56-year-old chameleon has been on the run since March 23rd when she's accused of murdering her 54-year-old husband, David. The Navy veteran's body was found with multiple gunshot wounds after his business partner at the Prairie Wax Worm Farm reported him missing. After the apparent murder, Lois Reese, also a known gambling addict, is accused of illegally transferring $10,000 from her husband's business account into his checking account. Reese then forged his signature onto three checks from the personal account, withdrawing a total of 11 grand. It's just frightening. Those who live in Blooming Prairie, a town of less than 2,000 people, remain baffled by the crime and concerned for the Reese's three adult children. I just hope they, whatever it takes for them to find peace, they're able to find it. Especially since word Reese fled to Florida, where she's accused of another murder. I just find it hard to believe as a grandmother to be that careless to be that heartless. This is surveillance of Reese and the woman they say she later shot and killed, 59 year old Pamela Hutchinson of Bradenton, Florida. The Lee County Sheriff believes Reese went after Hutchinson, who's similar in appearance, to assume the victim's identity, this time with the hope she'd mask her tracks. It's scary for anyone else in the area that may also look like her or resemble her. Now, Reese has fled southwest Florida. The Acura TL she stole was last spotted in Corpus Christi, Texas. Again, she's armed and dangerous. If you see Reese, do not approach her. Instead, call 911. Live in the studio tonight, I'm Iris Perez. Randy, back to you.